Hi guys, today is Tuesday, May the 21st, so I hope y'all's day has been going all right, guys. So, you know, we're pushing forward through through May, and these days keep ticking by faster and faster. Time seems to be speeding up as we approach the finish line. Everything's speeding up, ramping up, and um, just keep watch, guys. Keep following the Lord and, and um, you know, be in constant prayer and realize the time draws near. You know, I don't know what else to say. We've been saying this for a long time, but truly at this point, we know it's soon. We've passed May 14th. And, you know, other brothers and sisters are saying it could be actually the 70 weeks, 70 Shavuot. And if that's the case, then the cutoff would be in sometime in June. And, but regardless, we're right there. We're we're near the finish line. And um, I also want to say, keep watch, guys. Keep watching. Like I've said before, people are being hosted by demonic spirits. If they're not following Jesus Christ, there's a good chance they have a demonic spirit in them. And some people have more more of them in them than others. Some people have, you know, different levels of severity of demonic, you know, possession and so forth. And these could be people around us, family members, friends, what have you. And these demonic spirits in these people will try to trip you up. Their goal is to get you to sin. They want you to sin. And so I'd like, you know, recently, and the reason I'm bringing this up, um, this topic up is recently I had a, a few days ago, the Lord, I had a waking vision. And what the Lord showed me was there was a guy. He said something sexual perverted. Then he, 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 it's like I was following him and he led me into a, a business like a bar it appeared to be a bar and there were a lot a lot of women around but they were dressed up um but it seemed slightly different than a bar and you know they were clothed and uh, when i woke up i'm like was you know that felt like probably a strip club and the, the guy was talking about s- sexual perverted stuff and he was leading me in he opened the door and led me into this you know this is this this bar strip club um and at first, I'm like, well, okay, maybe that was just a sexual temptation attack from the, the enemy. Um, but then I was like, well, okay, the Lord may be warning me to maybe to look out. Maybe someone's going to try to trip me up. And lo and, you know, soon after that, within a few days, a someone someone tried to actually get me to go to a strip club. Um, so the Lord had given me an advance warning, a heads up. And guys, these people, they don't know what they're doing. They, you know, these people, most of these people around us, they don't know what they're doing. They're under the control of demonic spirits, a lot of them, in different level levels of severity. Some it's blatantly obvious, others they're very subtle and sly. These demonic spirits, so their goal is to trip you up. They want you to sin, guys. And so don't be, that's why I'm saying keep an eye out with people near you, around you. Um, for, you know, these demonic spirits know your past sins before you got saved, you know, your past sins, your, your most things that were hardest for you to let go, you know, once you got saved, um, so people are, they'll try to trip you up. These demonic spirits hosting these people. So for example, if, 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 if you have like a drug, if you have problem with drugs or alcohol, you know, people around you, don't be surprised if they start offering drugs and booze, stuff like that. It could be anything, um, whatever. These demonic spirits, they're going to try to trip you up. And so guys, just keep a lookout and um, realize this is a spiritual battle. This isn't flesh and blood. This is spiritual. And the devil knows his time is up and he's trying desperately to trip us up. And so next I'd like to go into guys. Remember I had mentioned previously that I had a, um, in the previous video, I'd had a, a, I received like a few things pointed to or some stuff pointing to us being gone before summer starts, you know. And I like to go into that right now. And so all of this stuff I'm talking about has been within the pretty much the past two weeks. And so I had a actually a, a vision while falling asleep, which is highly unusual. Usually I'll have them while waking up. So waking visions where you're aware of what you're seeing versus a dream where you're usually not aware that you're dreaming. Um, a vision you're aware, fully aware of what you're seeing, you know, and so while I was falling asleep, I started to have a, a, a vision while falling asleep. And what I saw, um, it's like I saw a, 
and um you know it was it was very vague i've you know a lot of times in like the wake and visions of the lord it's almost like a a like he has like you know a dial he can control the intensity of the vision and like almost like he's it's weird like the intensity and so this it was kind of more vague so i was having trouble seeing fine exact detail of what i was being shown but it was like a um essentially what i saw was on the ground you know like um like a small like a city small you know, small stuff like houses like something like imagine like a kid would build like a small city on the the floor of a room for example with a bunch of different toys and stuff houses and what have you and it's like i would see that then it changed zoom it changed to a different set and then it changed again and then i saw the words easter and boom that was the last one i saw so there were three different um scenes of like three different of these cities or scenery three different ones the last one said easter and then then it um and then it ended there it uh pretty much it ended there and then it transitioned more into a dream because the i believe the lord knew i didn't really i fully couldn't see the fine detail of what was being shown to me um and then it transitioned to a dream where i was telling a I was in the grocery store telling, I was talking to this guy. I'm like, oh, I just had a vision. And in this vision, I saw, um, I saw the, you know, winter, a scene for winter, fall, and then spring. I was telling the guy this. I saw, you know, I had a, I just had a vision and I saw, you know, three different scenes, one for winter, one for fall, and one for spring. And then it ended in the spring one. You know, the, uh, you know, it ended in spring. I didn't see summer. You know, I didn't see summer in this um vision. So I'm literally having a dream telling a, a guy this in my dream because the Lord knew I didn't fully see all, you know, I fully didn't fully catch all the details in the vision I had. And so he's clarifying in the dream right after. And I was telling the guy, I'm like, you know, I didn't see summer. So, you know, that you know that means we do, do we not see summer do we are we leaving in spring and then then I was telling well maybe it and I was also telling well maybe it means next spring you know maybe we leave next spring or this spring and and um and then there was one other detail right at the end which I'm gonna leave out but the whole gist of it was literally guys like I saw the three scene I saw oh I also was telling the guy I'm like oh it was weird also I saw it out of order I saw winter followed by fall then the spring scenery versus you would think it would be um um fall winter then spring but I saw winter fall and then spring scenery and in the spring scenery set I saw the words Easter were written and then boom it wiped out and that was it. I didn't see anything about a summer scenery. So I believe the Lord could be saying we are not going to see summer. Maybe we leave this spring. But I was also to telling the guy, what if it means we leave next spring? So unfortunately, I mean, that could indicate a year, which I would be surprised if we have a year left. And I really hope we don't. Um, so that's that, guys. And I mean, yeah, basically, we could be out of here this spring. There's, that's a very well possible. Um, I don't know for certain. But it would be nice if we were in the whole Easter that was written in the spring scenery Easter and then it wiped out like that was the last one. No more like, you know, indicating that's it. And so I'm wondering, you know, other brothers and sisters, I've heard them saying, you know, the calendars are off. Maybe like Easter, is, we haven't even had Easter yet, potentially. That's a possibility if the calendars are truly that far out of whack. Um, if everything's out of place. Uh, so there was that, guys. And also just recently, like the other day or so, I had a, a wake and vision about um, I saw stuff, Vietnam War stuff, just stuff about the Vietnam War, because I've been mentioning that recently. I believe the Lord could be pointing to something about that connection to that with what's getting ready to happen with the war breakout stuff. And um, and then I also saw, saw some something about LBJ. So that's Lyndon Baines Johnson, who was a president during the Vietnam War one of the presidents who was president during the Vietnam War and um and um so there was that so I believe the Lord could be oh and then as I was coming out of that having that waking vision as I was waking up I was told something about like solving a riddle and that 
the golden brick road or to get to the golden end of the golden brick road and so i looked that up and that's all wizard of oz stuff the golden brick road um almost sounds like you know stairway to heaven in a sense go you know going up to heaven being raptured um also could be referenced to the you know walking on the narrow path following jesus christ and um in civil iran stuff that was interesting i saw recently too you know they are making a comparison to go to the you know golf of tonkin incident which i mentioned in the past um in one of my videos about the 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 uh naval ship dreams and so forth so the golf of tonkin so that was u.s used that to um escalate involvement in the vietnam war um which was more of a, a naval incident with the north vietnamese so i saw here just recently you know the other i think it was yesterday i'd seen there were some I saw an article where they're comparing the currently with Iran to the Gulf of Tonkin Vietnam War incident. So U.S. versus Iran Gulf of Tonkin precedent warnings of a Gulf of Tonkin 2.0 is Trump officials blame Iran for oil tanker attacks. Iran crisis is similar to controversial incident that escalated U.S. role in Vietnam War from the Gulf of Tonkin to the Persian Gulf. So they're already people are already making comparisons. Um, so that could be, you know, with the especially I believe the Lord's pointing to there could be some comparison going on between the Vietnam War and what's getting ready to break out and potentially with Iran because the whole naval movements head into um, you know the Iran region and so forth. And um, one other thing I wanted to mention um, one of my um friends you know for a while now he's actually been looking to adopt a um a cat and so he's been going to shelter animal shelters and so forth and um it's been going on a while and um just and, and just recently i had a a dream that i'm not gonna you know i'll just go the main the last portion is the most important and it's essentially in the dream the um this lady had a um she was saying she's like oh my cat my cat my um she's like they had revealed they had found out that their cat had been this is really weird guys their cat had been dead for like was it the past two years so literally they got this pet cat they didn't know it was dead it had been dead already for it may have been like two years and she was saying that oh they got it from a, a museum like i guess her and her husband or whoever i think there was a guy with her too oh we got this cat from a museum and oh it's been dead for blah 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 years you know two years or oh man uh oh, like what am i gonna do like she was like really like irritated about the whole situation and i'm like what and, and then also and then she said like the cat is tell there's no tell on the cat the cat the cat doesn't have a tell um, or the tail had been removed or something weird. And then I woke up. So that was the ending portion of the dream. The most important portion. Um, I'm like, what the heck? Like, was, I'm like that is weird. I'm like, ladies, you know, she's saying her cat. She just realized the cat they had had actually been dead. And they had gotten it from a museum. And they were talking about it being, not having a tail. And um, so at first I didn't think much of it. I was looking into you know, I'm like, oh, well, it's because my friend's getting a cat, so we're looking for to get a cat. I'm like, so I didn't think too much into it, but then I looked into details. Like, a tailless cat, what's up with that? I'm like, do people remove the tails on cat? And I'm like, no, that's, like, inhumane. Like, you don't do that. There's no reason to do that. Or maybe unless there's a tumor or something. And then I stumbled upon a Manx, something called a Manx cat, a breed. Manx is a breed of domestic cat originating on Isle of Man shortens the tail so m many makes have a small stub of a tail but are best known as being entirely tailless the ones that are entirely tailless most distinguishing characteristic of the breed so here in the thing is this cat i was reading is apparently one of the oldest breeds so very old so that's i believe the museum why the lady was talking about a museum like they had gotten their cat from a museum so the manx breed is very old and here's the really interesting thing, guys. And so pretty much right after I had this dream, and then I found out my friend, he actually did. He he finally selected a cat and he got it. So he has it home now. A, a tabby cat. So you're, it's just generic tabby cat. 
But so about the Manx, so this is really interesting. I believe in that dream the Lord was pointing to wanting me to find this. Um, uh, hold on a second, guys. Okay, there's, there's certain um, folklore surrounding this cat, and one of them is... Here we go. In one of them, the biblical Noah closed the door of the ark when it began to rain and accidentally cut off to tell of the Manx cat who had almost been left behind. So that's one of the the um, folklore behind a cat why it doesn't have a tell. Biblical Noah closed the door of the ark when it began to rain and accidentally cut off to tell of the Manx cat who had almost been left behind. Well, we know that's, you know, in the Bible, the God close the door to the ark not noah so that's incorrect and this is just a folklore or whatever but i believe that's what the lord was pointing to because the the lady saying the cat was in a museum and it is like its tail had been removed or it was tell us so guys the 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 door on the ark is getting ready to be closed I, I can't stress it enough. We're basically at the finish line. We've been saying this for a long time, but I mean, we're there or we're not. You know, we are there or something's seriously wrong. We're about to leave or something's really, really, really wrong, guys. Um, so the door of the ark is about to close. So that's, I believe that's what the Lord was pointing to. You know, the door of the ark is about to close. The last few are getting on board. The last, last few. And so I hope they get on as soon as possible so we can finally go home and get this thing rolling, you know, that things can finally, you know, start, that we can go home. And um, so the, I want, you know, I hope the fence riders get, get off the fence and make up their mind ASAP. So we're, we're ready to go home. And, um, you know, those are the main things I wanted to share. If we, you know, if we make it into the summer, you know, don't be disappointed. Um, that was one of my hesitations. We'd even share a, a, something like that. But the fact that it was actually a vision, I mean, took it as more significant. So if we see summer, though, if we make it out of the spring, don't get discouraged. I don't know for certain. Um, it was like I, even in the, in the when it had transitioned to a dream, I was telling the guy, or it means next spring. Like, well, that would suck because I really don't want to see another year of this and have to wait till next spring. Um, hopefully the Lord would be pointing to more this spring. Um, who knows? I don't know. A lot of what he shows us, us, you know, with the time frames and seasons turns out to be, I've realized, turns out to be more encouragement to get us from season to season to season, to day to day to day, week to week to week. But at a certain point, we need to reach the end, and I believe the end is right there because the, you know, it's it's time for us to go home. Simply put, and um, if y'all have any input, let me know. But that's a few things I wanted to share, and just keep following the Lord. And I look, I, you know, I want to see see y'all very soon. I look forward to seeing y'all soon and meeting y'all in heaven. And um, I'll catch y'all later. God bless in the name of Jesus Christ.